we will gain the attack token with the scout attack, which will give me the third reforge, which will let me level up the Riven, which will also let me attack no again. Hesitation. This is pretty cool. This is what this deck's all about. This is some real cool synergy. Alright, so we'll overwhelm. Doesn't really matter. So. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for a special viewer submitted donation deck day. It's unhelpful Yoda day he donated for four different decks to see on stream today. And that's what we got going on. We got the first one with Riven Lucian. This is going to be a scout heavy deck with these two champions with Riven and Lucian, hopefully getting lots and lots of attacks in. We got Genevieve Elmhart, Gravehorn Companion, and Grizzled Ranger all having Scout. Um, also Blinding Assault with summoning the Valor. That'll have Scout. Scouts are important to, with Riven because whenever you uh, gain the attack token, you get to Reforge. So that means that if you attack with a Scout, then you gain the attack token again. And so you get to basically Reforge twice in one round. We'll also have these Cataclysms to go along with the, um, with the Scouts that can... You know, basically rally on our opponent's round and give us an additional attack on our opponent's round. And hopefully with all these attacks, we have like some uh, units die. We're able to level up Lucian or maybe even Senna die. We're able to level up Lucian and then we can get even more rallies whenever, you know, with scouts attacks and the first time allies die and all that kind of stuff. So we can get lots and lots of rallies. So that's kind of what the deck's all about. So let's give it a try. We're going to go play our five games in ranked. Starting the day off with Riven Lucian. Okay, we got uh, a Viego deck. I almost said Vladimir. <laughs> we were talking about Vladimir, but no, that's Viego. All right, Rune Weaver, Riven. Let's start with those two and send the other two back and just see what we get. Okay, I like this hand. Pretty good looking hand. When am I playing this Ranger's Resolve, I guess? Maybe I just go no Fleet Feather Tracker and just hold up the spell mana for this Ranger's Resolve. Basically because of... Um... Because of Vile Feast, I wanted to have like the Fleet Feather Tracker available still. Okay, let's go Tracker. Blinding Assault. Good, the plus two plus zero. Good. That's what I was hoping for. This is gonna make you know this is gonna be their second green grade lookout green glade lookout strikes. So they're gonna have something cost two less. Or two different things cost one less. Darkwater Scourge. I think this is probably just the best thing to do. Sit back with those two. Five man, man a Hydra Vine. That thing can get absurd. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's game, right? I did. What do we do against Hydra Vine? So that's three out of four units dying for Lucian. Even a fragment snuffs out lies. Even shattered hearts mend in time. Thank you. 
Double attack overwhelm Lucian could be pretty cool, but we need you know, we obviously need something else to die and not Lucian die. Well. Cost of war. I just don't really see like a real good thing to do, but my queen. Yeah, I just don't. To serve the greater good. Viego and Hydravine are simply absurd. Just don't have. There's just no good options. Yes, I can. I can plus two plus zero and like kill the Hydravine and get another attack. This Viego, there's just no. There's no good options. There's not a single good option. Not a single good option. Ashes and dust. All right, next game. Okay, let's try our luck against Teemo at twenty. Curving sent into Grizzled Ranger isn't that bad, but it's kind of slow. Right, round three, round four. Let's just keep Senna to just have a baseline. Okay, so we got Lucian into Senna. That game, you know, it's all hindsight, obviously. But they didn't have, like, Vile Feast type stuff. They did have that Green Glade lookout. And so playing the Fleet Feather Tracker on one would have made a big difference. Because the Fleet Feather Tracker on one would have killed the Green Glade lookout the first time. And so they would have had to wait oh, They would have had to wait another round before they played the Hydra Vine. Definitely would have made a difference. I've always got your back. Don't worry about me. So Sen and Lucian kind of protect each other from like a Mystic Shot, that they because they want a Mystic Shot and kill Lucian, but then that makes Sen uh, the double attack. <laughs> yeah, Rose says funny how they nerfed Nasus level one fearsome then printed Viego. Yeah, that whole Viego expansion, that that's when Treasure Seeker came in, which was just the better Dune Keeper. They nerfed Dune Keeper then printed a better Dune Keeper. They nerfed Nasus then made a better Nasus. Action is absurd. It's asking for me. The new cards they're making now, we've seen Poppy, we've seen Caitlyn now, they look much, much better, just power level wise and, and enjoyment wise, everything. This new expansion looks really good, the, that Viego expansion, that one was not very good. But I guess they're not always going to be great, I suppose. So they want me to block so that I block with like one of these two to enable the other one, and then they, you know, like, I would block with like a Senna, they would Mystic Shot Lucian. I block with Lucian, they Mystic Shot Senna, right? Like, they want me to block with one, and then they can kill the other, and then they get rid of both. I guess you're not doing a whole lot blinding assault. Go ahead, scare me. Burn away the shadows. Their whole deck is spells. It's like, is there any reason not to just be playing other stuff first? Because I, I, I want to kind of play this Relentless Pursuit. We go like Grizzled Ranger also. Slow down, will you? But then again, there's a good chance that Lucian dies. But if they kill Lucian, that's two di separate double attack things. You can, like frostbite a Senna, then shoot Lucian, then the Senna only is one power double attack. Winter take you. All right, no rally this round. Fire 
this is just such an absurd setup. It's it's just like the, the dream setup, right? Two Starless here is buffing up something, Peddler giving us puff caps, this thing creating the spells. It's exactly what you want with that kind of deck. It... <clears throat> Every spell is going to be so good now. Alright, so the good thing about that is we know they don't, ha they don't have any spell mana left. They can't do anything about these. So th they're in a bad spot. Cause they, yeah, because you, you just don't want to block with any of those things, right? Because they're so good just sitting out there. So you really don't want to block with any of them. So we're not in a bad spot. We're not too bad of a spot. Your issue with Viego is that he made Kindred irrelevant. It's kind of tough to play some of the other five mana champions with Viego. We, we yesterday we played like the Lux Garen um, Shadow Isles Demacia deck, and it wasn't with Stony Suppressor, and it like Stony Suppressor Lux stuff wasn't so bad. But man, thinking that we could we could just have Viego in the deck instead of the Garen, and how ridiculous Viego is, that was a big difference. I write the rules of power. No, not quick attack. We already got lots of quick attack. Pointless perfection, meatbags. Triple bot. They got all of the units. Heavy disengaged. Rise, metal brethren. We're in a great spot now. I, I think I think we got this game. They just kind of had all the units. And these units don't block Lucian and Senna at all. Alright, so Lucian's at 2 out of 4. So we're going to make... We're going to challenge there. Now that's 3 out of 4. They have to block these things. And when they do, Lucian will level up. So unless they have, like, Brittle Steel... Which, honestly, like, the Senna should probably be on the other side. Oh, because, well, no, because this one's not going to die. So, Lucian levels up from the Rune Weaver, but this, n unless they have the 4-3 block here, this won't die. So, Lucian won't. Okay. We won't get an additional attack. There we go. That will work. Put to rest. One on one. Aurelia Azir. All right. We could try out some Aurelia Azir. Let's see. Rangers Resolve, very good in this matchup. But I kind of want to mulligan the rest. I kind of want something a little earlier. I mean, I guess, I suppose, it, no, because I want to have the attack token round three. I was going to say I could have, like, Senna Cataclysm. I think I want to mulligan. I think I want to find, you know, Lucian Riven. Senna just doesn't block that well. Uh, Could have been better. I should have gone Blinding Assault, because I wanted to save Blinding Assault for champions and, like, maybe be able to use, like, Blinding Assault, Sharp Sight, like, that kind of stuff, get, like, multiple champions. So we're down to 11. Next time. It's 
kind of hard to use these cards right there because of the different because of the different recall cards. These hands no metal and magic. Ancient magic, new prey. Well, I guess I could have done that first. You know, this Rune Weaver first. I could have had that on the scout. I could have just played the Rune Weaver first. I could have had that on the scout and then challenge and challenge. No mercy for those who desecrate our home. Man, this is a great hand for them, though. Double sparring student and then Emperor just dies and then two champions. Like, that's, that's really tough to beat. Alright, so a really so Azir levels up. The order is given. Shurima is send in sky. Past and present. It must be done. Your fate was written. Glorious sacrifice. Navori! Get to level up Aurelia. Remember our ancestors and fight for those who came before us. No looking back. Silly thing. I could, have played, I could have played this better with like my I needed to uh, yeah I could I could have played this whole game better I really need to focus on my challengers more maybe pass pass the round more and you know not challenge as much all right let's miss some folks up <laughs> yeah, we've we've blocked eight times, and at the end of round five, we're still at six. We're blocking eight times. Don't forget challenging and you know killing. You know, killing multiple units and challenging with challenging, and also blocking eight times. We're still at six. Let's recall. All right, one and two. All right, we got Nightfall. This could be a cool matchup. We have similar champions. I guess Ranger's Resolve is probably going to be worth keeping, like, one mana. It... We'll kind of see. I don't know. Cataclysm with Lucian is like kind of a nice curve, right? Because it's like a single combat that you don't have to uh, worry as much about because of the quick attack. Like that's that's pretty nice. Those two together are good. Like if they play, you know, Nightfall card and Diana, then I can Cataclysm the Diana. Their scent travels on the night air. <laughs> That was onlooker. All right, we're gonna try killing this goat. I guess they still could, Diana. But Diana should be a two-two, and maybe Ranger's Resolve saves Lucian. Find your own light within the darkness. Yours is a light I cherish. Keeping them from getting gems. Face your heretic. Keeping them from getting gems. 
Alright, Rose, have a good day at work. Whoa. Okay, that's not the card that Heavenly Aligned. Okay, that wasn't created by Heavens Aligned. Okay, uh, that's what I thought at first, that Heavens Aligned created that. And I was going to be very impressed. So I wanted to see if we could get like some quick attack for the Blinding Assault. Rather just like block with these things. Not Nocturne. Hopefully not Diana. Silly thing. Okay, we're down to five. Pursuit could be pretty important next round. They forced us to choose death or grave. Okay, this was the Heavens Aligned card. But getting rid of one elusive. You cannot hold us down. Because by the time they're attacking next round, they should probably have the flight back. Maybe they just need that as a blocker. I guess that was the only blocker they had. So that's obviously a very, very good trade for us. With that Genevieve taking out the Elusive and the Diana. Oh, but we could still definitely lose if they just play new Elusive. Because they play new Elusive, I play Relentless Pursuit, they attack... Oh, okay. So they must not have drawn the flight. That has to be the flight right there then, right? No, that was the flight. Okay, they had it. So they're drawn into a new card. So we gotta hope it's not a pump spell, right? Like it's... So it is. Gotta hope it's not a pump spell. Down to one. Well. Okay, good. As I say, now Doom Beast. I was trying to think of, like what my best plan was against Doom Beast. Put to rest. Which I don't think I had a good plan against Doom Beast, but it looks like they did not have Doom Beast, so there we go. Alright, we got Zoe and Lee Sin. Usually with this deck it kinda comes down to Lee Sin. Lee Sin's always the most problematic card. Get rid of these two. It's kind of too easy to stop a Cataclysm, probably. Actually, Senna? No, I'll keep Senna. Mm. Alright, well, with more spells, kind of glad we kept Senna. But yeah, the Blinding Assault would be for Zoe. I don't love, like, this trade, though. Man, I... If it's Twin Disciplines... I should have played the Tracker first. I really should have played this Tracker first. I messed up. Because then I could Valor Challenge if it's Twin Disciplines it stays alive, and then Tracker Challenge, and then, you know, like, we'll trade two for two like that. I 
this is still this thing can still block with sharp sight. Uh, yep, that should have been a challenge right there. Should have played the tracker first. The spirit gives to those who listen. That was a mistake. Good sharp side draw. Riven. Riven always good. We got a big moose. They're getting a draggling. Breathe in, breathe out. Okay. Heart and blade both broken. So in Riven and Plays, so we scout attack, get the attack token again. We keep reforging each time we do that. All right, son. My gun does the talking. For the lost. Okay, so that takes my normal attack token away. So now the Cataclysm will be a scout attacking, so that will give us the attack token back. We'll be able to reforge again with Riven. I'm hoping to get the quick attack reforge, so I can quick attack the tracker. Good, and so I can have tracker quick attack, kill this tail of the dragon and stay alive. So you can put that one three back. What is No turning back now. Do I want to quick attack the ribbon? What conflict awaits? So, like, basically, like, is this Riven attack even worth it? Maybe not. Your attack is obvious. Okay, so that all worked out fairly well. Not as good as it could have, but we got that Eye of the Dragon that was going to be really annoying with all the draglings, and it was a 2-5. We got that out of here. So that all went pretty well. I'm cold, I'm hungry, and there's rocks in the boats. I'm sorry, who are you? Three mana left. All right, Cataclysm again. Hopefully no Nopify. They don't have the mana to Will of Ionia. Because this will again give me, we will gain the attack token with the scout attack, which will give me the third reforge, which will let me level up the Riven, which will also let me attack no again. Hesitation. This is pretty cool. This is what this deck's all about. This is what our deck's supposed to do. This is some real cool synergy. All right, so we'll overwhelm I don't know. Doesn't really matter. Even shattered hearts 
Oh, I don't have the mana for sharp side. I thought I did still have the mana for sharp side. Well, I guess I could have gone for lethal by putting it on Riven. Okay, well. That was silly of me not to just kill them. But that's alright. I think we'll be fine. I just math wrong. I thought I'd had the mana for sharp side also. I was gonna sharp sight the Riven. Overwhelm. All right, that should be game. No turning back now. We'll make Senna six power overwhelm with that quick attack. To run. That should be game right there. All right, GGs. Took a little bit of the scenic route to get there, but we had it all along. Okay, good 3-2 and two record in Masters rank. The first game was kind of ugly against the Viego. Um, really, that Hydra Vine just dominated, and, you know, that's going to happen sometimes. Um, and so I did kind of concede a little early because it was just, we just had no options, and it was uh, kind of frustrating. But I have to say I was pretty impressed with Riven Lucian overall. Um, and, like, Cataclysm. Like, at first, I wasn't sure about this Cataclysm, but really seeing, like, that last game and some of those last couple of games... Uh, it looked great, looked great with Lucian, um, but then it also looked great there with the Great Horn Companion and, and uh, you know, getting the free attacks with the scout. You know, you scout your Cataclysm, able to get those extra Reforge tokens. That looked really cool. So there we go. Nice little deck here. Um, only lost to, you know, Hydrovine and Aurelia Azir that had an awesome hand and uh, won some other good ones, you know beating some different um, Ionia decks look good. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think of this Riven Lucian deck list with these uh, different spells in here. How do you like it? Let us know. Always love seeing those comments. But thank you so much for watching some Riven Lucian, and I'll see you for the next video.